here on the Bobber Mill right at the rapids in the eddy on the other side. Alright, it's a start. I haven't had the best hour and a half so far at all. A little bitty guy, but it is a fish. Here we go. Crappie. Oh yeah. On that one with the orange tail. The little curly tail with the orange tail. First cast. Nice black crappie. Not a black nose, unfortunately. It's a nice 10 incher. All right, guys. It's called a 10 inch black crappie on a two inch fire tail grub green and chartreuse with an orange tail finally we're waiting for that evening bite it's about five in the evening right now nice little black not bad i wasn't getting nothing on the spinner bait i wasn't getting nothing on the swim bait finally paid off Starting to have a good day now. See if there's another one sitting over there. Black. Not bad. Why didn't you tell me you needed the pliers? You said a hook. A hook and a weight. Well, I didn't bring a weight. I didn't understand what you meant. Alright guys, Wilma got a nice spotted bass. Fairly decent. A little over a pound probably, yeah. Not bad. I know, we're just in the wrong place. It's caught a spotted bass myself on a dead minnow. All my minnows are dead. And I figured, what the heck, I'll try it anyway. And sure enough, as soon as it hit the water, guys. Little spot. On a dead minnow. 24 inches down. Right in front of those trees right out here in front of me. Alright, let's see if we can use another dead minnow. I guess you just never know. I can always twitch them, make them look like they're alive. It worked. I hope to get a crappie on it, but... I don't know if they'll hit one dead. If they're in the mood, they will, I guess. <coughs> oh man, I got something nice. Wilma. Oh man. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, big bass, whoa. Check it out. Nice large mouth, guys, on a dead minnow. But when he's barely hooked. All right, I got my nice large mouth for the day. Dead minnow and I just keep twitching them. I use them dead and I just keep twitching. Right by the bank on the other side. Oh, yeah. He's a nice one, guys. 
Oh man, nice bucket mouth, guys. Oh yeah. Guys, the front's coming in. It's gonna rain 100% chance at six o'clock in two hours. So that barometer is dropping. They are on fire. There were some kids down here a little bit ago heck, catching the heck out of big three and four pound bass. I finally got my redemption. I got that nice crappie and now I got the bass. Not too bad. Hun, look. Large mouth. Not bad. I knew it was nice as soon as I set the hook. I could just tell. Yes! Another big bass. Oh my gosh, big spotted. Man, they're getting real active. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What a beauty. Another two pounder on a giant, one of them giant four inch minnows. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Big spot. I'd rather catch these big spots sometimes than the large mouse. They just uh, prettier in appearance. I'm gonna have to have pliers to get him off. That's two nice fish I pulled out of that one tree. Check him out, guys. It ain't as big as I thought, but he sure felt like it. It's still a nice spot, though. Still decent. Never under best under never underestimate uh, the power of dead minnows. You can still make them work for you guys, as you just seen two times. All you got to do is just work them like they're still alive. About every five to ten seconds, you just give it a little twitch. Man. Yes, crappie. Oh yeah, big. Woo. Oh, oh, nice white crappie this time. Real girthy on that orange tail thing again. We gotta buy more of those that that play at Dunham's. We gotta go buy some of these. Guys, this thing is a girthy crappie right there. Once again, on the green and fire tail, fire tiger, two inch curly, grub one eighth ounce jig head plain something told me to start fishing for crappie again and it took one minute oh yeah i've officially had a good day now i've caught two nice bass and two nice crappie both bass were different kinds and both crappie were different kinds a black and white crappie and a spotted and large mouth so i have officially had a good day all four were decent Wheat. Now we had a good day. Nice white crappie. Really girthy. Got a really thick backbone on her. About one inch girth there. One inch thickness, I mean. Wow. Pretty big for post spawn anyway. Not bad, guys. Beautiful day out here. Memorial Day weekend, Sunday, avoiding the crowd. And it paid off. That is a nice one. 
That's two I caught on that little fire tail thing. Looks like a large mouth, but I can't tell. Yeah, it's spotted. Decent though. Oh yeah, what do I got? Whoa. Uh, oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at that sunfish. <laughs> That's big for a long ear, isn't it? Look. Oh my goodness. Guys, I just caught probably the biggest long ear I've caught this year on a minnow and split shot, vertical jigging them between these rocks. He is considered very large for a long ear. He's as big as my hand is. Wow. What a beauty. Now that. Now he fought hard because of how big he is. He actually put up quite a big fight. Now we had a really good day. I've caught lots of kinds. All big fish. The little ones ain't bothering it today. It's the big ones. Because it's a good day. According to the almanac, boy, now that is a beautiful long ear right there, if I've ever seen one. Wow, that's what's been pestering me over here, stealing my bait, but it paid off. That's That was worth catching there. He's as big as my hand. Wow. Goodness gracious. That's what, that's probably what pulled me under the rock then. Not the, not Look at a that. Dead minnows. Just a minnow and a split shot just letting it fall between these rocks, guys. Now I got, they look like twins. They're both, both really big for long ears. Like I said, they don't get very big. They seldom get as big as your hand, but both these are hand sized. Yeah. My goodness. Another hand sized long ear. Got them back to back within a minute's time. Can't beat that. So now I'm just gonna have fun fishing for fish out of these rocks. As long as they're decent like this and they ain't stealing my bait, I don't mind. Don't mind them at all. That's those. You got one? On the very first cast, you lucky dog. My goodness, very first throw over here with the lure I was catching them on. All right, well, we got her first crappie. She's using a one of those fire tail grubs I was using, but she put it on a road runner jig head. Hold it up for us when you're done. And we're really doing good today, ain't we? My goodness. We're just getting a little variety of everything, except catfish. All right, hold it down a little bit. There you go. Good job. Not huge, but still a crappie. It worked. You got one on the very first cast. Told you there's better fish up here than where he was. Every fish I've caught of has been nice. Every single one. So small. I don't know how I caught him on a size one hook. But he is so small that he is transparent. You can see his organs. You can see everything. His stomach, his spine. He's clear. Now that is odd. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see completely through his body. Talk about weird. Weird. Oh man, crappie out of the rocks right here with a split shot in minnow guys, no bobber. Three feet in front of me, I'm jigging this minnow up and down in between these rocks and just caught a nether. Look how thick this thing is. Oh my goodness. That is a big girthy white crappie. I don't know why they're so girthy in here. They're really thick in this river. They, they're all like an inch or thicker backbone on them. My goodness. Nether 10 incher. <sighs> Guys, these fish are just going crazy today. They've been biting good the whole day. If we would have just went somewhere that was like spectacular all the time, we would have done really good. But I'm, I mean, there's nothing wrong with coming here. We did really good. Now we did officially really good. Three crappie, two big bass, and two big sunfish. End up having a good day, guys. It's the first day of real humidity. It's very humid out. <sighs> yeah, you gotta know where to throw. Only I do, I guess. All right, guys, I'm gonna get her back in. What a beauty. I can't believe I caught her right there. It's coming, that's what it is. Plus, it's a good day already. And the weather's finally been stable. If we would've just went to Lilburn today, I guarantee we would have caught way more catfish. But I'm glad we came here. This is so close to home and look at this. Look what I'm getting. <sighs> How orange she is. Guys, I got me finally a, another beautiful long ear. It's my third one, a beautiful female one with a red, red fins, red belly. Like I said earlier, never underestimate the power of dead minnows. I've been using dead minnows the last two hours and catching fish nonstop. They do not have to be alive for you to be successful. Gorgeous fish. be in that bush I'm telling you <sighs> look at that one again another jumbo this is the biggest one actually good god or at least tied for that first one guys these long ears are as big as bluegill are that we normally catch they're that big i can't put my hand around them this is a very rare, for me at least, size of sunfish. He is as big as my hand, which is seven inches. He's a seven inch long ear. God. <clears throat> Every time you try to get away, don't you? That's a nice long ear, guys. Look at that. What a beaut. These are, I'm telling you, they're big for long ears, ain't they? Here. Looks as orange as a pumpkin on the bottom, guys. Look at that. Fire belly. <laughs> Look how orange and red. My goodness. Oh, there's still a lot. Good. Okay. 
That guy's another long ear. What a beauty that one is. Man, that's another jumbo sunfish, guys. This is the place I've never, I've never seen so many big ones in one day. Not like this, not hand-sized sunnies. It's just something about this spot they love, this river maybe. Because you can go catch a bunch of them, but they ain't gonna be this size. These are the size of farm pond bluegills. It's crazy. Oh man, holy moly, gosh. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. My goodness, guys. I have caught probably seven or eight of these jumbo sunfish. And this is without a doubt the fattest and tallest one. He ain't the longest. But that thing is, it's so big, it's got the hump head like a bluegill one. I mean, totally nuts, guys. God! Someone just caught her second crappie of the day. What, what was that on? On a worm, okay. Hold it up for us when you get done. She, she, she caught it on a worm with a bright orange jig head. It's a black crappie. We caught five crappie today, guys. And three or four nice bass. Good job. We ended up having a good day just for coming here close to the house anyway.